This ranking is based on the play score, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening at number 10 is Plague Incorporated. Endemic Creations brings out the inner Umbrella Corporation within you as you spread a world-ending plague to destroy humanity for good. Plague Incorporated is a very interesting simulation game for casual players. The main goal is to create a pandemic that could wipe out the entire human race. Do it fast or the whole world tries to stop it and create a cure. To avert human survival, players can upgrade and enhance the lethality, transmission, and severity of the created plague. There are multiple types of world-ending viruses to satisfy your need to eradicate humanity. You can also name it. Experiment with various combinations such as coupling a bacteria with bioaerosol transmission or increasing the pneumonia affinity of your fungus. It's a terrifying strategy game, and even the World Health Organization recommends it for anyone trying to learn about the nature of viruses. It has a play score of 8.49. Number 9 is King's League Odyssey. Command your own army of tiny soldiers in this strategy game straight from Congregate's Flash archives. But this time, it gets better with new content, enhanced graphics, and an exclusive character for the Android. In this game, you'll have to pillage the neighboring cities for their resources. Use these to upgrade your facilities as well as your soldiers with over 40 unique classes to choose from. Once your army is strong enough, you can march to the nearest caves and defeat bosses or engage in battles with other leagues and make your way to the top. As a premium game, King's League Odyssey boasts an absence of in-app purchases and balanced gameplay mechanics that gamers will definitely appreciate. With their impressive array of awards, they just might be doing something right. It has a play score of 8.55. Number 8 is Barbarian. Brad has had enough of slaying monsters and saving villages from doom and destruction. This Barbarian seeks out the cooler side of life. Create a makeshift axe loot and collect as many loot from the blood of his enemies. Gather your townsfolk and prepare to defend your village from dinosaurs, dark magicians, dragons and more. Be a Barbarian with the musical prowess of a bard, because why not? Upgrade your party, be a hulking badass and face waves upon waves of epic boss battles because Brad's life isn't getting any better. It's one of the coolest mobile games during its time due to its energetic soundtrack, memorable characters, and a humorous presentation of medieval life. It has a play score of 8.56. Number 7 is Anomaly 2. Although a little unfaithful to their name, the developers at 11-Bit Studio gifts the world with this Android port that flaunts PC quality visuals and stunning sound design. If you got a hunger for explosions, this game's for you. As a sequel to the critically acclaimed anomaly, Warzone Earth, it comes with one-of-a-kind tower offense versus tower defense multiplayer mode that lets you rain destruction on other players while scrambling to protect your own. But if tense online action isn't your style, their improved single-player campaign is also an enjoyable play with a storyline that comes with new features and well-done voice acting. All in all, it looks like 11-Bit Studios has managed to reinvent strategy games once again with this fresh new take on the genre. It has a play score of 8.56. Number 6 is Tiny Guardians. A tower defense game without towers? Well, that's surprising. Embark on a cute and adorable adventure with these tiny heroes and fend off waves after waves of scary monsters and giant beasts to defend the kingdom of Lunali and bring it back to its once peaceful state. Aside from its absence of tower-based building, players will be given a set of 12 unique Guardian classes to control the tide of battle. Customize and upgrade each of them to create a devastating effect in the battlefield. Just like most TD games, it gets more difficult along the way and the wide utility of customizations and Guardians will prove helpful to the game's central core of defense. So guide these tiny heroes and watch them grow to their most indomitable form. It has a play score of 8.56. Number 5 is Rebuild 3, Gangs of Densville. Following the success of the previous Rebuild games, Northway Games created this third installment with a modern twist. A horde of zombies has overrun the city of Parksville, leaving it a desolate wasteland. Your job is to restore it into its former glory. You will meet a number of survivors, each with their own stories of loss and hope. Use their individual skills to farm for food or scavenge for materials. They can also aid you in defending the town from further zombie destruction. The game has an infinite number of possibilities with its randomized cities and events. It has over 200,000 words of event text which will make every new game a different experience. It has a play score of 8.57. Number 4 is Clash Royale. If you enjoy demolishing villages in Clash of Clans, then you'll enjoy Supercell's Clash Royale. 
but instead of villages, you'll have castles to annihilate in glorious real-time action. No need to miss your old allies because they're all here, along with their new medieval companions. Use your balloon bombs and giants alongside knights, princes and kings. And with their novel card-based battle system, leveling up is a breeze. Win crowns, open chests and earn enough cards and see your troops and yourself rank up. Form clans with your friends so you can share cards and form stronger decks or battle with each other in private duels. Or you can just head to the next arena and conquer more castles. Lances up! It has a play score of 8.57. Number 3 is Door Kickers. Ever wanted to know how it feels like to command a SWAT team? Of course you have! Door Kickers is exactly what you're looking for. It has the brain-tickling complexity of strategy as well as the excitement of shooting games. You have 5 types of troopers at your disposal. Breachers, Pointmen, Assaulters, Stealth, and Shield. Combine these with the 65 weapons available to deliver what you think is the best course of action. Crash into doors and shoot everything in sight, or use Stealth to take down enemies quietly. You can carefully plan out attacks or improvise along the way. The levels are hard, as is real-life SWAT operations, but the satisfaction of finally getting them right is incomparable. It has a play score of 8.69. Number 2 is Clash of Clans. The strategy game that changed the course of freemium MMO mobile gaming. With its widespread success, all you see are cheap clones of this original with nothing but bugs and glitches. Supercell made a big leap towards mobile, with a game so addictive and strategic at the same time. Build and expand your own town with impenetrable walls, Tesla towers, and more to defend against invading players. Harness the power of elixirs, gold, and other resources to fortify your buildings and upgrade your army to take the battle to them. Be careful though, they have their own plans too. Just like the game's title, it's a clash of clans. Join a clan to take down neighboring ones with your team's combined might. Of course, microtransactions are a big feature in this game, so make sure you think twice before purchasing the good stuff. Either way, it's one of the best base building mobile games on the market, with a play score of 8.82. And here are the runners up before we reveal the number one. Lamp and Vamp an adorable strategy game that lets you control a vampire trying to make its way to its coffin. Stay away from the light and run away from priests because its tile system gameplay makes it very challenging. It has a play score of 8.47. Castle Storm, free to siege. A strategy game where elements of beat-em-up and customization come into place. Build your castle and storm your enemy's defenses with your powerful army in this 2D fun. It has a play score of 8.46. The Nightmare Cooperative. Another strategy game that lets you guide a group of unlikely people in difficult situations. Its roguelike elements make the game's central challenge, along with a wide array of possibilities with its characters. It has a play score of 8.44. Brass. Feel the birth of the industrial revolution and control the economy in this challenging board game. Start your idea of monopolization and use your intellect to dominate the game. It has a play score of 8.43. Bloons TD. Engage in fun head-to-head -head battles with the popular balloons. Take on various modes and go on a monkey-sized skirmish that doesn't necessarily have to scream bananas. It has a play score of 8.41. You may get these games by clicking the first link on the description box below. And standing tall at number 1 is Kingdom Rush Origins. If there's one strategy game that tops everything on this list, it has to be Ironhide's Kingdom Rush Saga. Origins marks the prequel to their fantasy field tower defense game. Step inside the iron shoes of warriors clad in armor, mages in robes, and fend off monsters to defend your land. It's one of the best mobile franchises to date. The game doesn't change much compared to its predecessors. It's still a thrilling tower defense game that gets increasingly difficult wave after wave. You'll be surprised with the number of monster variations and heroes to quell this evil threat. Explore Elven Forest, get aided by mythical creatures, and witness the birth of Kingdom Rush in its most magical form. It's the best strategy game on Android, and it has a darn good play score of 8.90. Thank you to these awesome contributors from around the world who helped us translate our videos to their respective languages. If you want to take part in the growth of our What to Play community, please translate your favorite What to Play videos to your language. Simply click that More button below and select Add Translations. We publish four gaming videos every week. Don't miss any of them. Click that bell button beside subscribe, check the send me box, and save. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. To receive the latest play score and gaming updates, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Google+.